Welcome aboard and thank you for joining us on a guided Segway personal transporter tour. Learning to ride a Segway personal transporter or a Segway PT can be a fun and exciting experience. However, before you ride, you need to watch this safety video, complete a release of indemnity agreement, be fitted with a helmet, and receive Segway PT tour orientation training. Segway requires all riders must be generally healthy and at least 16 years old. All riders must weigh above 100 pounds or 45 kilograms and below 260 pounds or 120 kilograms, including payload. All riders must not be under the influence of alcohol, drugs, or anything that may impair balance. While participating on the Segway PT Tour, you should be prepared to stand for the length of the tour and be able to shift your weight from side to side while bending your knees and hips. Clear vision and functional hearing are imperative for this tour. If you cannot comply with any of these requirements or activities, please notify our staff immediately. Please be sure you pay close attention to this entire video. You need to confirm the Segway PT is in balance. If any of the four outer balance indicator lights are red, tilt the power base or handlebar in the opposite direction of the lights. When the Segway PT is ready to enter balance mode, the center balance indicator light will light up green. To step onto the Segway PT, let someone stand in front of the Segway PT, face you and hold the handlebar to keep it from moving. Place just one foot on the mat. Avoid pushing, pulling, or leaning the handlebar as you step on. Some people rock back and forth when they first step on. Stay calm and relax. Look forward. Then, raise your back foot off the ground and place it on the mat. If you feel unstable, step off the Segway PT, one foot at a time. When you are ready to step off the Segway PT for the first time, your spotter should hold the handlebar. Remain stationary by keeping your weight centered over the wheels and without leaning backward or to the side. Step off the Segway PT one foot at a time. Avoid moving the handlebar as you step off. You may find it easier to remain a handlebar stationary if you remove one hand off the handlebar before you step off. Never let go of your Segway PT when it is in balance mode. If you let go, the Segway PT will roll forward and can potentially cause injury or damage. You may leave the Segway PT leaning against a wall or curb. Slowly lean forward and feel the Segway PT move forward. Then stop leaning forward and feel it slow down and stop. Do this a few times. Look behind you and then slowly lean back and feel the Segway PT move backward. Then stop leaning back and feel it slow down and stop. Do this a few times until you feel comfortable and can move smoothly. Under no circumstances should you attempt to turn while riding backwards. To stop the Segway PT, when you are moving forward, gently shift your hips back as if you are preparing to sit down to bring the Segway PT to a stop. Once stopped, center your weight over the wheels to remain stationary. Practice stopping smoothly. Never stop abruptly or on a slippery surface or by pulling the handlebar. The Segway PT turns in the direction that you lean the handlebar. You turn the Segway PT by leaning the handlebar left or right. Never rotate the handlebar like turning the steering wheel. To turn in place, slowly pivot the handlebar to the side in the direction that you want to turn. The Segway PT will rotate so that you can turn in place. Try leaning turns. After you're comfortable going forward, backward, and turning in place, try riding forward and turning at the same time. Keep your knees slightly bent and lean in the direction of the turn. Keep your body aligned with the lean steer frame while turning. Avoid turning while moving backwards. The Segway PT is engineered with many safety features. Pay attention to all warnings and alerts from the Segway PT. They indicate unsafe operating conditions. When driving too fast, the Segway PT will push the handlebar back. 
If this happens, stop leaning forward and slow down. Always leave a gap between yourself and the handlebar. If you are at risk of falling, the Segway PT will shake the handlebar and make growling noises. Slow down, come to a stop, safely step off and ask your guide's help. When a safety shutdown occurs, the Segway PT automatically reduces its speed, gives the stick shake warning, shakes the handlebar and makes growling noises, flashes the balance indicator lights and emits a warning tone. You have approximately 10 seconds from the start of a safety shutdown to come to a controlled stop and step off. After 10 seconds, the Segway PT will immediately shut down when the wheels reach zero speed. Do not get back on the Segway PT after a safety shutdown until the condition that caused the safety shutdown has been identified and corrected. Avoid abrupt maneuvers such as fast stopping or starting. Avoid riding on slippery surfaces such as snow, ice, wet floors or grass, or any other surface that might cause slipping. Scan your terrain carefully. Avoid holes, curbs, steps, and other obstacles. Use caution when riding over any terrain change, such as pavement to grass or over a threshold or speed bump. Keep your knees bent and loose. Remember, always proceed slowly and carefully over unfamiliar terrain. If the Segway PT can't bring you up the hill, stop and turn around or back down the slope. Ride up or down slopes, don't cross them. Never attempt to ride up or down curbs and stairs. Stand in front of the Segway PT, facing front of the handlebar. Guide it up or down one step at a time. Ride carefully and safely. Always ride at a speed that is safe for you and those around you. Always be prepared to stop and respect pedestrians. If any other situation outside this video happens, please immediately stop and step off the Segway PT. Ask your guide to help. Wish you a wonderful experience riding the Segway PT during the amazing Segway tour.